Hey, Coach Nye here with Mind Over Sport. Thanks for taking a minute with me today. Uh, I know it's a busy time of year right now, especially if in the, in the sport of hockey and getting back to school. So, again, appreciate you taking a minute um, and having to listen. What I wanted to discuss today is, as I mentioned, I've got, I deal with a lot of athletes that are hockey players and they're getting back into the game. We just, I'm discussing with a lot of them right now on um, the fear factor and, and, and the, the fear of the unknown going into the season or into camps and how athletes can thrive off this fear as well as overcome the fear. Um, when it comes to big challenges of, in the physical side of things, uh, it can be frightening, especially in the, for the younger ones. Um, you know, as an example, just thinking of going into a camp and you're a young guy and you're going up against some, you know, two or three year older, uh, year older players, that's a scary and frightening aspect. Some, they, they, they don't want to admit it, but it is. So it can be crazy intense and your nerves are on a high alert, but it turns out sometimes these nerves can actually be a good thing. And so when you're thinking of fears to uh, improve athletic performance, there was a study done at, um, I read at the University of Arizona. The research was, uh, observed basketball players that uh, how well they played when they received prompts about uh, the considering the fear of death. Um, so that this led to them thinking about their fears ahead of the time they performed and, and in fact, those athletes performed 40% better than they had the previous game without the fear of inducing prompt of death. So it all how you deal with it, how the mind deals with it, how the subconscious mind deals with it. Um, we also found out through those researchers and the basketball players, they determine, um, the research has determined that it's the same idea behind the pump up phrases because they used um, phrases and prompts about um, the death and the fear of death. And it's just like, you know, the, that phrase, pain is temporary, pride is forever. They get fired up and that helps channel their nerves into a higher performance. So turning fear into triumph. There's all, all kinds of different types of fears that pop into your head as an athlete when you have a challenge in front of you. You become nervous. The, the body changes. The muscle tenses up. You increase sweating. You feel uneasy. Your stomach gets all shaky and all that. and You become shaky and your thought process changes as well, uh, su such as dwelling on the importance of, of the outcome of the event and thinking about the possible things that may happen that usually don't. Um, most of these thoughts are negative of course and they need to be um, adjusted in the mindset in order to compete at your best. Um, the, but there's also athletes that take this um, changes in their bodies and their mindsets and perform on the reverse, meaning they t use it as motivation. And that, they focus on their speed or their strength or their power and know that this is good the way I'm feeling because I, one, I'm human, and two is that I have the abilities to do some great things here. Again, it's part of the mindset. You can harness these feelings and turn it into good when the time counts. Uh, it could be just you know, psyching yourself up and using small phrases, and I'll get into that later, but maybe something like it's go time, or let's do this, uh, or you know, this next point is important. All those things you put in your head, self-talk, will help. Now, when I talk to, to athletes, I, I do mention there's five ways to turn your stress or de-stress into success. The first one is, I think, is the most important one. Take a deep breath, okay? Scary situations, you gotta try to be really in the present. Try not to overreact and take some deep breaths. Analyze the situation, 
and then you'll know how to react calmly. Second one is what I just talked about regarding the mantras and self-talk. Develop something, a, a one syllable or a simple phrase, a positive affirmation to help you when the time is unsettling. This helps you focus in your movements and what you need to do next. And that helps keep the self-doubt that maybe creeps into your mind. The other one is to focus on the small stuff. This kind of ties hand in hand. When you're trying to relax and, and, and um, slow your heartbeat down, focus on something right in front of you. Uh, you know, it could be the water bottle on the bench. Focus on it. Study it. Think about it for a few seconds. That helps you bring, back, bring yourself back into the present. It's just something small, but that's, that's all it takes. Another one, the fourth one, is make your muscles relax. So what? study yourself. You, you've, you've tightened up all of a sudden. Why? So take a minute, study your body, identify the places where they, they feel tense, and try to relax those areas, whether it's the shoulders or your hands, your wrists, your, your, your ankles, whatever, that's got your jaw, that's got tensed up. Focus on those body parts and through the mind relax them breathe and relax and lastly remind yourself of your prep work this is really important just as much as the deep breathing you've trained hard you've worked hard in your confidence and your physical aspects of your sport there's no better athlete out there right now than you remind yourself of all the prep work and breathe in and hold that breath and then breathe out you can do these things all these five things a matter of of minutes while you're preparing to get ready and then if you, if the feeling of of something that creeps in that seems to be a bit of fear use it to your advantage so those are five ways to turn your distress into success quickly done through the mind, through the training, that will help you move on through a difficult situation. Again, thanks for coming in and listening to me today. I appreciate it. I hope these little facts and, and that can help you out. Check out our website, w coach, oh, sorry, www.mindoversport.ca. And if you have questions, come on and ask. Coach Nye at mindoversport.com. Remember to like the video, share it. We greatly appreciate it. And again, until next time, be determined out there and be the change that you want to change. Bye for now.